I can't have no A and knowledge, just fuck with my focus. Drop a bad bitty, get 50 more. Heard the nigga wanna be me, I ain't even know. Came in too legit, first day he could tell me shit. Damn near walked a thousand miles to be up in his bitch. Pop out with the spitch, you can smell me in a vip. Damn, why that dream of days of paparazzi taking pictures? This is everyone's favorite Minx, Minx Couture. Um, I am here with a fucking rant from hell. All right. I am over this shit, under this shit, and I'm just fucking tired, y'all. I'm I'm tired of the bullshit. All right. So I'm going to tell you guys what's been going on with me. And um, hopefully, you know, people will wake up and smell the coffee because a bitch is tired. Okay. Now. A couple of days ago, I posted up a video on TikTok, which a lot of people, oh my God, Minx, you with this fucking TikTok shit. Well, my bad, you ain't popping. <laughs> you, so you don't get it. <laughs> you you don't get you don't get my frustration. And I don't expect you to. You 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 got five followers that don't care about what the fuck you're posting. Right? So this po this this entire rant is not for people that don't care about their social media. This is not for people that only care about people that fuck with me. These are people like myself. We are what you call content creators, content creators that make these apps rich because we spend time on these apps and building these apps and more importantly, bringing people to these apps because we're the ones that are doing the free advertising. We are the ones that are pretty much saying to people, it's working for me, so you should come along, right? This is our problem. Right. There's a couple of things that I've noticed and I'm going to get it off my chest. And if you guys want to share it, great. You want to tune in on Twitch. Great. Um, But I'm just going to speak my mind. And if you you don't like it, then get the fuck up out of my life. All right. Cool. 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 I'm glad we covered that. Okay, so. A lot of people know that I do streaming, right? I do streaming. I also do gaming. I also am what you call a quote unquote TikToker. Um, so I've utilized these spaces in order to build myself as a creator because that's what I've accepted. I said, I am a content creator. I don't just do music. I don't just make beats. I don't just write songs. I'm also a person that loves to make videos. And a lot of people that knew me from back in the day, I had a YouTube channel that was taken down this is back in 2013, and I was doing electromagnetic voice phenomenons. Those of you who do not know what that is, it is called an EVP, right? EVP, that means that I would set up my voice recorder and pick up audio from the spiritual world, right? Very good channel that was taken down at that time. Because they said that it was uh, misleading or whatever the case may be, my shit was flagged. Because I know that what I was getting was some real clear EVPs, right? So I, I, I said F it and made another YouTube channel. Now, I understand, you know, a lot of people, you guys don't understand how hard it is for us to grow on these apps. Look at where you're at now. you stagnant, right? you stagnant. You're still trying to figure out who you are as a creator. Um, and and you, you just haven't found your niche yet. You haven't found what you're good at um, that people tell you, oh, you know what, what you did last time, keep doing that. You're not, find, you're not finding that, right? So a person like myself who had TikTok, um, I was involuntarily, 
right? And these are the terms that I used to TikTok when I explain why. I was involuntarily merged over to TikTok. Involuntarily. So that means that I was a creator of a platform, which was Musical.ly. I woke up one day and saw that the app was re-downloading or updating itself, and it went from being Musical.ly to now TikTok. So I didn't come onto TikTok like, I want to do the lip singing and dancing too. I, I didn't do that. I, came, I became a user of TikTok through a merge. So that's where we differ, ladies and gentlemen. I am a victim of a merge. So recently, you know, when my TikTok blew up, um, hold on, Minx rants about censorship. That's what I'm putting as my, my thing because it says on, on Twitch that I'm playing Fortnite and I don't want people to think that I'm doing a Fortnite stream and, and going hard and, and yeah, we're not doing that right now. Okay. So here's the problem. The other day, we, we all know that I talk about quote unquote, and I put quote unquote because y'all don't believe in the shit that I say, but quote unquote mm, consciousness shit, right? You guys call it conspiracy shit. Okay, whatever. Whatever helps you sleep at night. But consciousness talk and spirituality talk, this is the shit that I be talking about. So now... I had put up a video about my frustrations in a specific tool that we spiritualists use. Um, and the fact that they had literally hit us with a paywall, right? They hit us with a paywall for something that was free. And, and now I, I was talking to my fellow coders, my fellow decoders. And I said, Oh my God, that's so messed up. Why are they doing that? Like what, what's with the paywall? Blah, 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 blah. Right. I literally woke up the next day. And they told me, you know, I had a real juicy video, too, to put out. I was like, oh, I got a good one. And they were like, um, uh, yeah, you, 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 you ain't doing that shit today. <laughs> you, you ain't doing that shit. Go hang out on Instagram land or we put you on timeout. So I'm on timeout. And I was unable to do anything. Okay, I couldn't leave comments on anyone's pages. I couldn't leave re reply to the responses on my own videos. So it kind of made me look a little bushy for a couple of days. Oh, this, this, is, uh, this is one of those creators who we, we leave a really nice, thoughtful comment and she doesn't respond. No, that, that's not what happened. Because TikTok said, go fuck yourself, Minx. And you're going to sit in time out and think about what the shit that you're posting, right? Now, an average person, you know, people would be like, oh, it's not that serious, Minx. You know, you, 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 know, you just wait for the time out to go away and, and you'll be fine. I'm sorry, bitch. What? What? You get us addicted to these apps. It's almost like being a drug addict. You get us addicted to these apps. You get us addicted to the opportunities of being exposed to an audience that we could never reach before. And then you take it away from us because you want to instill and remind us who the fuck is the head honcho in charge. We're the ones in charge, right? So this is, this is what happens. This is exactly what happens, right? So, of course, I'm sitting here, I'm saying to myself, what the fuck, like, what did I do? What did I do wrong, right? I didn't cry this time, I promise. I didn't cry this time. I just was like, I'm on timeout then. So, as I am, you know, literally screaming into the void of watching other creators break the rules as a verified users, I, I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to talk about it. So, you have a dude right? A fucking dude, a blue check motherfucker. I hate them. I hate them. He goes by the name of Jake Andrich. That's J-A-K-E-A-N-D-R-I-C-H on TikTok, right? Blue check motherfucker. A video that got over 16, excuse me, 16,000 comments and a video that got over 621,000 likes. 
that was bookmarked 50,000 times and shared 41,000 times. A blue check motherfucker on a kid's app. 13 and up. That's what they, they claim they are. Literally wearing a Venom Spider-Man skin-tight suit. Showing an... In- How do I say this without signing? I- I'm going to do it anyway because TikTok says it's okay. His whole ass dick print. Literally, shape. I could see each testicle. Left nut, right nut. Hanging kind of low. Got to get that check, sir. Dick hanging to the right on his lap. Gyrating in the air. I, I have this in my drafts. <laughs> Did I do the dance right? Did you do the dance right? Humping the air. Did you do it? No, you didn't do it right. You have no rhythm. You, you got no rhythm, honey. You, 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 you really need to work on, on your gyration because that, that's something you, you need a woman that's going to teach you how to use that, that tool because you don't know how to use it. But you don't do it on TikTok. This was some only fan shit. This is some shit that you post to only fans. And it was posted on TikTok. Comments are limited. I mean, I would limit them too. And everybody laughing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wish I could bring that home. And you go and look at some of these comments. (laughs) 16-year-olds. 16-year-olds leaving a comment of a dude that wants to show you his dick print. But my page, my page that does nothing but poke fun at celebrities and talk shit about the elite and, and, and all this other shit, my page goes on timeout. And I've never shown a titty. Not one titty, not one butt cheek, not one areola, not one nip slip, not one time. But you took down my page for a couple of days, right? So here's what I did, right? So I started noticing. And, and you know, I'm the person, I don't like to bring race into everything because I'm not that kind of a person, right? I don't think everything is attributed to race. I think sometimes people really be going too hard. I'm like, you, you, you know, if you can't make sense of something, you say it's it's because of my color, of my skin. I'm not that type of a person. However, what I did notice It's that it's mostly black and brown people, mostly black people that lose their platforms just simply for being fucking black, right? I'm not saying that that's what's happening to me. I know that I talk about a lot of -of out-of-pocket shit, but it's nothing for a child to come across my page and say, oh my God, I'm blushing. I'm blushing. This is embarrassing. No, but dick print. Rich could do that. He could do that. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to cover today. You guys are censoring us. But the real question that I ask is, is it legal? This is my answer to that. When we sign up for social media, we all sign up and then they hit you with that bloop terms and conditions. We just say, ah, fuck it. Ah, fuck it. We have to stop doing that because we don't know what the fuck we are signing, right? We, we don't know what we are signing. We're just saying, yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So, yeah, social media, social platforms, even my own platforms, if I make rules on my platform and I say you can't talk about bugs on my platform and you write, oh, I love spiders, I could take your shit down. You see what I'm saying? Because you agreed on my platform that we don't talk about bugs here. We're not, we're not talking about bugs here. You mentioned a bug. So now you got to go. Your whole content, you got 1 million followers. You, you got to go. I'm sorry. You violated the terms and conditions of my platform. It's the same thing as social media, right? However, every time they roll out an update, we just look at it as an update, right? Oh, it's just an update. Eh. They're constantly updating their guidelines because the laws are constantly changing. And right now we are in a day and age that I tell people you need to be afraid because you can't talk about anything unless 
the government says you can. Okay? Communism, right? We're, we're heading there. If we're not there already, right? They hide behind this guise of misinformation. How? Misinformation is bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. There's no such thing as misinformation. You want to know why I say that? Because if somebody comes to me and says, Minx, if you take this chemical and drink it, it will rid you from all of whatever you have. I have to practice discernment. That means I have to go to my primary care physician and say, hey, so I was on TikTok and this motherfucking bitch said, if I drink this, that the illness that I've been trying to cure with you for years, that you're making a lot of money off of me, y'all. Um, they're telling me if I take this, it should fix the problem. What say you, right? You see, y'all motherfuckers don't do that, right? You don't do that because it would be smart to do that because let's say it works, right? Let's say it works. And you go to your doctor and they tell you, nope, nope, uh, according to my medical studies of, of 50 years, uh, no, uh, you, that does not work. That's, that's, not, that's not a probable thing. A doctor is not going to put their medical license on the line for your little ass. So you're going to go to them and get the correct information. So my whole thing is that if you don't go to the doctor, if you decide to sit on social media and ingest things and take things and do things without speaking to your primary care physician, then you deserve everything that you fucking get. Because you're not thinking, right? You're, you're, you're going based off of what social media told you, right? So the misinformation in that could have been avoided if you would have said, hey, doc, because you guys don't have a relationship with your doctors like that, if that's the case, right? Our doctors don't remember us. They're not doctors from back in the day that came with the fucking uh, toolkit and came to your house and checked your temperature. They didn't make home visits anymore, right? But if you're not talking to your doctor about things that you're seeing online and wanting to try for yourself, then again, like I said, you deserve everything that you get, Okay. Now, that's the same thing with legal shit, right? So somebody online says legally you could do this and legally you could do that and you get caught up in some legal shit. You deserve what you get because if you would have picked up the phone and contacted the uh, association, the bar association, they, they would have been able to you know help you with, with, with the deposit for a legal consultation, Right? You go to the, the bar association in your city and state and you tell them, look, I need legal consult, but I can't afford it. Guess what? They got you. Or you're not paying the full price for a consultation. You might have to pay 15% of that. But it's the fact that you decided to go that route and say, I need a consultation because I heard this information on the Internet and I just wanted to verify and confirm if it was true. So, again, Social media, it is not your job to fucking stop people from educating, right? It's not your job to do that. It's not your job to silence people. It is the job of the users to practice discernment for any information that they digest. And if they choose not to do that, then yeah, I believe that the creator should be held responsible for spreading uninformed information, but to a limit, right? This even goes down to subconscious shit, spirituality shit, right? I am really tired, right? We can easily go to Discord, but even Discord could be taken down, right? You see what's happening to Kanye West. You can't talk about anything that pisses off the beast. So you got to be clever. Right? You got to put it in the music. You, you got to do the Michael Jackson thing. Make a moonwalker movie. You know, I can't talk about grooming and pedophilia. I can't just come out and say that this is what's happening. So I got to do it cleverly. I got to put it in music. I got to tell the message in another way. I got to subconsciously reach these people. This is what it's coming to. And the fact that people online are so fucking comfortable right? 
One of my favorite creators put up a video about how she doesn't understand why people keep using the term unalive. And I laughed. I wrote in the comments. I said, yo, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I say that shit all the time now. Yes, and then he unalived his wife. Or, oh, no, he unalived. Right? We say unalive. And she's like, I don't understand why you guys say that. Like, And I agree. I agree with you because you're basically telling the platform that, okay, um, I know all of the words that you're not supposed to use, so I'm not going to use them. The word is suicide, murder, rape. These are terms in, in, in every legal dictionary. You can't say the word suicide on social media. Why? It's a real phenomenon. People commit suicide, right? Career suicide, physical suicide, mental suicide. They create, they, they tell you, you can't use these terms. Or else, guess what? If I, someone said, if I don't use the word unalive, you know, if, if I use the word unalive, then they won't take my post down. They won't take my post down. This is where we have come to, ladies and gentlemen. The fear of speaking up on terms that are legally used in the court of law. They don't fucking sit there in a courtroom, uh, tell us why you unalived your wife. No, they say, tell us why you killed your wife. Tell us why you murdered. It's like you guys are afraid of the motherfucking dictionaries, if you ask me. A person that has read the dictionary from cover to cover. I'm not talking Eminem. I'm not talking Eminem. I legally, really, worked in at, worked as a job as a legal assistant. It was really funny when I did my taxes that year because I was like, they, like, they wrote legal ass. <laughs> legal ass, that's what they call me. But th- 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 these are terms, real terms. And I'm literally the person that says, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you are not built for this shit. I'm sorry that you are not built for social media. I'm sorry that you need Big Brother to protect you from actually thinking for yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now get the fuck up and go back to my space then. Go back to MySpace if that's the type of coddling you want with your information. We are content creators that have a following and a voice. And we refuse to let these social media platforms tell us that we can't talk about things that are important. So you guys nitpick old videos that nobody's watching and then find a reason to flag them so that you can have a reason to shut us up. And you know what I think? It had nothing to do with the Gematria calculator. That's that's not what happened here. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what the fuck happened here. Now, a couple of days ago, I came across a video on TikTok where a woman was discussing there is a Telegram channel specifically for the Ukrainians and Russians, right? Well over 60,000 people in this group. But the problem was, was that I was unable to read the information because I don't speak Russian and I don't speak Ukrainian, right? So I looked, I said, oh, I got Apple. (laughs) Fuck Apple, by the way. Fuck y'all, fucking thieves. Fucking thieves. The whole page was in Ukrainian. It was written in the Ukrainian language. So I said, all right, I got an Apple phone. Let me, let me translate this. And what popped up when I tried to translate, it says Ukrainian is not currently supported for translation. If this isn't Ukrainian, select a language to translate from. This is what popped up on my screen. Why? Why are you telling us that a fucking $900 phone 
cannot translate a Ukrainian text to English. What's going on on that page? What, what, what don't y'all want us to decipher? What don't you want us to see? Why are we not allowed to know the truth? What is so bad about knowing the truth? I used to say to my dad all the time, Dad, what would be so wrong if they told us that aliens existed? What would be so wrong with that? Like, what would be so wrong? He was like, uh, you, 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 you don't see how people freak out over the littlest things? How, how do you think they're going to handle, ladies and gentlemen, the world? We would like to admit, finally, that you are not crazy. You are not crazy. What you are seeing in the skies is exactly what you have been seeing for years and talking about for years. We have lied to your faces. And we deeply apologize. We had to protect you. We had to protect the, the American public. But at this particular time, it is too hard to keep it away. We can no longer do chemtrails. It's taking too long to cover them up. They're very close now. What are you talking about, Mr. President? Uh, we're, we're, we're talking about... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, aliens are real. When I tell you that these stores will be flying out of toilet paper within seconds, it's, it's, it's just not possible, right? So the truth, they can't tell you the truth. What, what, what was that? The truth. You can't handle the truth. We can't. <laughs> we can't. How, look at how motherfuckers acted. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a pandemic. Toilet papers. Bruh. Toilet paper. They were buying up everything. So at this point, there needs to be a mass exodus. The mass exodus of social media. I think people are afraid of only one thing, right? I don't, I don't know how to make a website. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't know how to manage a website. You don't need a website. You just need a blog. That's it. You just need a blog. Get yourself a blog. Hook that shit up to whatever template you want and ball the fuck out. If you are okay with social media constantly censoring everything you say, but the dick prints are fine. The titties, showing the titties and the twerking and, 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 and the fucking uh, vaginal lips. If that's fine, then that means that you are co-signing to grooming, ladies and gentlemen. These applications only have one idea in mind. is to get the teenagers on there to expose them to the amount of pornography and pornographic imagery and the groomers and get your kids in a real fucked up situation. This is the plan. So fuck your talent. TikTok is not about dancing. It's not about presenting your ideas and music. If you can show a titty to a 13 year old, then you good. You, you gonna get verified. Cause you doing exactly what they want. They want you to participate in the grooming. So, yeah, TikTok is a kid's app. It's a kid's app. I want you guys to go look at the content. I want you to swipe 10 times and tell me if anything you saw was, is something that you want your child to look at or something that you want your cousin to look at or your niece or nephew. Would you take a TikTok account and go in front of a kindergarten class and scroll through a FYP? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. This is the day and age that we are in. This is a war not only for you, your brain. It's not a war for that. The war that we are in is for the children, right? We are supposed to protect the children. I can't even tell you as I sat on the sidelines of TikTok and scrolled through, my heart broke every chance I could see. 16-year-old go girls, 17-year-old girls dancing. And grown-ass men pulling, putting heart emojis. When do you turn 18? This is the app that it's on. So you're like, okay, Minx, you know all this shit, but I know all this shit. I see all this shit. And I report all that shit. 
And what does TikTok say? Um, you don't see anything wrong with that. Really? You don't see anything wrong with a man that has a sibling that looks about 13 and him wearing a towel all wet wrapped around his waist as he dances with his little sister and kisses her aggressively on the cheek. You don't see anything wrong with that TikTok? Well, a lot of users reported this account. Still there. Still there. You don't see anything wrong with the fact that a mother that has a child that is in a pageant and the girl is about five or six years old doing her little routine and you have a bunch of grown-ass men putting heart eyes and the mother hitting like, you, you, you don't see nothing wrong with that shit either, right? You don't see anything wrong with this, ladies and gentlemen. I am a person that feels like I have gone from becoming a content creator on TikTok to now high-class security. Because all I do is report, and all I get back is unfounded shit. Mothers, I'm not just talking about the men. Let's talk about how groomy these women are, right? Why would you, a grown woman, lactating, why would you feel the need to expose both of your titties and have one child suckling on one as your titty drips on the other? I'm not kidding, ladies and gentlemen. This is some real shit. So men are watching a woman breastfeed in this fashion. Now, I tell you, I breastfed my little one. I only really need one. I only needed one titty, right? I only needed one titty. You don't need both titties out. That's, that's wasting the milk supply. Those of you who are mothers, you know. You, you know you got that other one capped up. You ain't going to waste that as, as hard it is as it is to get that milk to come in. You're going to have the other one just dripping? Just dripping? Free fall? And then go live. Go live. Let, let's not even talk about the live streams, y'all. A woman doing her child's hair. And every time a person in the comments uses one of those super emojis that covers up the baby's face of putting it uh, um, a mustache and glasses, the baby cries. And the, the mother looks at the camera and she says, well, do, hey, stop doing that. You're making her cry. And it happens about 50 more times. So you are intentionally agitating your child. You are intentionally Allowing strangers to agitate your child because you can't pay your fucking rent? I really think, honestly, at this point, Donald Trump, I'm sorry. Bruh. I, I'm sorry. You, 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 you were right. You were right. He warned us about this app, ladies and gentlemen. As much as you hate Trump, I... I Look, I don't fucking know him to hate him. I just know he's 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 a person that did warn us, the public, about how dangerous this app was. It had nothing to do with data mining. It had to do with the fact that children are in danger on this app, right? And I have literally exhausted myself. I've exhausted myself. Maybe everything happens for a reason. Maybe they said, you know, Minx, you 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 doing great things. You were able to get to fifty two thousand on TikTok without botting your shit, without lying to people, and without having to show a titty. And you could do the same shit on your own. You could do the same shit on your own website. So here's, here's the options. These are the options. I tell people, Web3. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Crypto talk. Yes. Yes. Crypto talk. Yes. Web3, the metaverse. Yeah, people will tell me all the time, Minx, that shit is stupid. How? I make a room. I pick a room. I don't, well, I, I, I say I'll pick a room. I'm going to pick a triple X temptation room with all his pictures. It's because it's his birthday. And I send out a mass text. Hey, guys, this is the link. Show up with your avatars. Bring the YouTube links. 
right? Because you don't, you can't really bring, you know, video. You can't bring food or drinks or bud. So bring the YouTube links. And we all meet up at the same time, avatar up. We're taking selfies in the metaverse. And we're sitting down and everybody throws on their music videos. And we sit and watch it. And then we're like in real life, yo, what's your YouTube channel? Oh, word. This is what happens for an hour. You take off the goggles. You look at your phone and your Oculus tells you, you met 194 people today. 194 people. This is what needs to happen, right? The concept makes sense. So if we, if we having shows and events and stuff, because the, the celebrities, celebrities have already figured it out. I ain't building in this fucking place. Web 2, I'm not building here. I'm going to sell a ticketed space as an NFT for 0.3 Ethereum for my event. And I'm going to actually show my music videos and I'm actually going to show some videos. I'm going to actually do meet and greets without having to touch anybody. And I'm going to walk out of that bitch with 10 grand for the night. I does that. I don't make 10 grand every night. I wish. But I meet people every day. Right? Those of you who are looking in on Twitch, you see my merch? Hold on, let me let me let me zoom in real quick. You see my merch? You see my merch? This is how Minx Couture is pulling up. And people stop me and say, oh, my God, I love your hair. Oh, my God, I love your cat ears. Oh, my God, you made your avatar? Yes, I did. I made my avatar. Yes, I did. It took me about four months. <laughs> I'm a newbie. My bad. Oh, my God, but what's a mixed guitar? Oh, that's my rapper name. I'm a musician. You're a musician? Yeah. And someone else, is she on Spotify? Yes, I am on Spotify, if you give me a minute. And you throw them the QR code, and guess what? Guess what? Yeah. You just sold a fucking single playing a game. Now, I know that's far-fetched for a lot of people. What's the first thing y'all tell me? I don't have, I don't have a, I don't have that shit. You don't. Okay. I don't have, I don't have VR. Okay. You know that these spaces are accessible with the computer, right? A lot of these spaces that I chill at are accessible through the computer. This is all about what you're willing to invest in order to build and grow your own ecosystem away from social media. You have to be willing to say to yourself, fuck those Jordans, I'm getting a Steam Deck. Because that's really all you need, right? Steam Deck is virtual reality. You can actually visit virtual reality spaces. So, like I said, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, we're catching on. You guys are employed by the United States government at this point because you want to keep your eye on what the fuck we're talking about and you want to keep your eye on what the fuck it is that we are doing. So instead of you just keeping it a buck and saying, yo, <laughs> real talk, <laughs> y'all are slaves, my bad. Um, I, I meant to tell you, you know, when you were born, yeah, you were a slave then. Yeah, you know, we pricked your foot. When you were an infant, sent that shit out, and, and we kept tabs on you. You know, we put you into a public school setting so that we can figure out where you were. You know, we also, you know, let you know of our existence because we actually showed up at your class. We, you know, remember that day? We, t we took a couple of kids and said, we want you, 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 and you. We want to we test your hearing, right? It was never a fluke, you know. It's because we got your fucking soul print, right? We took your blood from your foot. And we knew that your what your abilities were. We knew what your fucking bloodline was. And that's why sometimes people say, damn, it always feels like I'm being targeted for some reason. I don't do anything. I'm with my friends and the cops always arrest me. How did you become a targeted individual? If you don't do targeted shit or shit to be targeted. But then you come out and you say, yo, <laughs> motherfuckers has been watching me and fucking with me my whole life. You're a conspiracy theorist. Once you start realizing where you stand, if you're a person like me who was quiet your whole life, you just went along with everything, and then one day you got your voice a couple of octaves down, and, you know, you sound like you could be a sex worker. Um, you know, at some point you're just like, I have a voice. I have a voice. And I'm not afraid to use my voice. 
I could totally be taking my voice and reading Amazon books, right? People have said that to me. Oh, my God, Minx, with your type of voice, you should be making a lot of money with reading Amazon books. For fucking what? <laughs> Another voice print? Another voice print with the level of AI that we are in so that I can sit into a police officer's uh, fucking interrogation room and, and they play it back for me. Did you kill Johnny? No, I, I didn't kill Johnny, officer. What are you talking? Play, play the clip. I'm going to kill Johnny. Wait a minute. That's my voice. I, I mean, that's my voice. But, but I didn't say that. Who's going to know? <laughs> Who's going to know? They want your biometric data, right? They want your voice. They want your face. They want your fingerprint. The fact that I can sit from across a room and unlock my phone, ladies and gentlemen, that should tell you something. They want every element of our being, and they're not telling us why. If you are a pregnant woman and decide that you want to give birth at home, oh, they come knocking. Don't they come knocking? I'm like, uh, yes. Oh, we heard that you had a baby. Yes, I did. We need that footprint. Okay. And we need to prick the sole of the foot. And you're just like, I'm sovereign. You Look at you. Sovereign? What are you talking about? Oh, I've already applied and told the government to go fuck themselves years ago. What are you doing here? Oh, we need that baby. We need the baby's uh, footprint and, oh, uh, no, we're good. Thank you. Have a good day. This is what the plan is. So if you guys want to continuously use social media, by all means. But what I will say is that if you guys take this seriously like I did, I'm telling you, don't, don't, don't even... And my last part of this rant is I'm going to say very politely, fuck you, Candace Owens, you son of a bitch. This woman has went around town talking about robots and bots and social media being fake and I, where's my coins, bitch? Because I did two podcasts on every fucking talking point that she made. Which leads me to know that you listened to my podcast. Because in 2021, February, nobody was talking about the bots. Nobody was talking about how to get the bots, what the bots are used for, how do they use them. Nobody was talking about how motherfuckers was making millions of dollars in 2020 with bots alone, with bots contacting people and processing crypto. Nobody was talking about that shit. Nobody was talking about the fact that all of these celebrities that you fucking like, that they bought their streams, and I literally showed how they did it. I literally talked about how they did it. I even played segments. And that whole entire podcast sounded like it should have been on primetime news on channel seven because I didn't use no hip hop no hip hop music I used my Diane Sawyer voice and they fucking jacked my entire shit so Candace Owens you son of a bitch you don't know what the fuck you talking about you owe me and and you need to put in your credits Minx Couture Minx Couture was the source of a lot of this information because I listened to the whole thing ladies and gentlemen and I'm like could you please credit me? Please credit me. And to those of you that want to hear it, I'm going to put it in my chat. But it's called Bot Wars. Bot Wars. Right? The show was called, it was a bonus episode of the Mink Show podcast. So if you go to the Mink Show podcast, you look at the bonus episode, and it's going to pop up and say, um, Bot Wars. Hold on a second. My little one's back. See why I have to I have to rush and do these rants because I can't be cursing and stuff around the little one. She gets very upset. Right? So this episode, Real Talk with Minx, Bot Wars. And those of you, you can look at my, you know, you see my, my, my screen. I really do support these independent artists. I really do listen to the music that they send me. I really do promote the playlist when you guys add it properly, your music. But I want you guys to understand that this is very important to me. 
right? Whatever, everything I do is important to me because I, I really felt like building my platform was going to be able to help independent artists. And unfortunately, hold on a second. And one cookie, yes. Um, awesome. I hope I get one. Um, so you guys could look. It says Real Talk with Minx. The episode is called Bot Wars, right? And then there's another episode after that that I did, which is Real Talk with Minx episode two called Follow Me. And that episode is how I show how these celebrities and folks and businesses are faking the followers. So Candace Owens, if you really are trying to lead a, a revolution to prove that streams are fake, followers are fake, likes are fake, that people literally have streaming farms, they literally have uh, report um, bots for mass reporting people on all platforms, get at me. Get at me. I mean, you are a black sister looking to help a black sister, right? Um... Mm, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I know I don't like coming in, you know, hot like this, but you know, I literally, I'm just very tired of social media. Um, but my next, uh, episode podcast, I'm going to be talking about why celebrities should not be on the same platforms as their fans. Okay. That's going to be the next wicked observations, uh, in regards to that. There's a lot of stuff going on on TikTok and and, and, you know, about these celebrities copying us and stealing from us and using their um, financial ability to serve cease and desists on content creators just creating content and showcasing their opinions. We're going to have to talk about that. All right. So that's going to be on the next episode. And we're going to close out the show with uh what did i like time traveling i love this song Tra time traveling's by joey lux found him on audius audius ladies and gentlemen if you guys are trying to build your image name whatever definitely get on audius i'm not promoting them because they're paying me to I i'm not doing that uh i am open <laughs> to, to helping y'all build the platform um but Definitely take a look at Audius. If you're a person that really loves music and you're really trying to support independent artists, if their music is on Audius, you're definitely going to find it on Spotify and Apple. And they're just using Audius and SoundCloud, like myself, as a little extension of being able to promote myself and my friends. And again, those of you that fuck with me, I fuck with you too. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's more than just you know, hit and play and share. It's it's about the fact that you guys have rocked with me. I have been in the public eye as an independent artist and streamer since 2010. So now that y'all are emerging with me with my journey of seeing me scrub a bunch of motherfuckers in Fortnite, I definitely appreciate that shit too. And I will also help you guys merge with me into the metaverse. If you were interested, take the red pill or the blue pill. But if you take them both, it's purple. Yeah, that didn't make no sense. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I love you guys. I will be back later.